Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing very serious videos I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there, trout food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm a dog about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I haven't reviewed anything from this place in quite a while, so woo! Well, we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, why I wear super cool shirts? I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom, it's my Tim Skold shirt. I've worn this one in a bunch of reviews. If you're unfamiliar with Mr. Tim Skold, uh, dude has been doing it since, I believe, like the late 80s. Um... He's been around for quite a while. He's worked with pretty much everybody in the industry, as well as doing his own stuff. Uh, Marilyn Manson, he's worked on a project where he did some remix stuff for uh, Rob Zombie album. He's on the Twisted Metal 4 soundtrack. That's actually where I became aware of him years ago. And, uh, yeah, dude is super talented. Works kind of in, like, the dark electronica, industrial, metal-ish genres, mostly. Uh, extremely creative guy. I was fortunate enough, earlier this year, I got to see him perform in his solo capacity, and then just a few months later, I got to see him perform in his dual capacity in another project he does called Not My God. I'm incredibly impressed by him in both instances. Like, going to both of those shows made me an even bigger fan of his than I was originally. To that end, I do actually have videos of both of those shows that are on this channel. I have an entire playlist that is just concert videos that I go to. Just in case you're interested. Sometimes people like my reviews and like my musical taste. So, but Tim's cold. Very cool dude, and I love this shirt. But anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? What am I reviewing? It has been a while since I've reviewed anything from here. Well, folks, we're reviewing something from, boom, Raising Cane's, and their famous chicken fingers, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers. I reviewed their chicken finger sandwich, like, two years ago. Uh, it, it was a while ago. That was back when I was still regularly doing my Chicken Sandwich Wars playlist, which is just a playlist of chicken sandwiches that I've reviewed. And I really just don't go out that way, but I happen to be going a different way, and it turns out that they got one over here now. So I decided I'd stop in, and I was like, what can I review from Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers? Well, it turns out that mostly, almost entirely, all they have is chicken fingers. So specifically, this is their three-finger combo, which consists of three chicken fingers, some cane sauce, some of their garlic Texas toast, and some fries. Let's see if I can get like a, a little bit of a thing going here. Maybe. Normally I wouldn't review like a full combo, but like, eh, fuck it, man. Boom, it looks like that. Ha 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 ha. So yeah. And to that end, because I am doing a combo, I feel it is impertinent, or it's important, that's what I meant to say, to mention the price. This whole thing only cost me $10.74. That ain't bad. So, we're going to start reviewing. I'm going to go from what I feel is probably the least interesting thing here, which are the fries, and I'm going to try those out, and then we're going to kind of go from there. So, fries. Nice crinkle cut. They are perfectly fine. They are nice and crispy. Nice and soft on the inside. And good. I don't have anything particularly positive or negative to say. I mean, I guess if anything, if I'm comparing them against, like, maybe other uh, fast food fries, certain fast food fries, anyway, could maybe be seasoned a little bit more. Not that they don't, you know, they have taste and everything. But, I mean, that's a choice, I feel. You know, some obviously salt heavier than others and stuff. They're fine. Um, I got little squeezy ketchup packets. Let's squeeze a little ketchup over here. Yeah. Try it with some ketchup on it. With ketchup! Ooh. 
Ketchup does make it a lot better. <laughs> One of the nice things with the crinkle fries is that because they do have that sort of accordion texture, it gets into the crevices and you can get more on there with less space. Uh, and then on top of that, I mean, yeah. Oh, and by the way, it also comes with a drink. So, and they have Bark's root beer, which is like one of my favorite like commercial root beers. Mm, root beery. Uh, but yeah, man. I mean, the fries are perfectly fine. Not very interesting, but they work nicely. Definitely better with the ketchup. Some fast food fries can stand perfectly on their own. These, I feel like they do need the ketchup to really kind of be at their best, but they're still good. Now let's try the garlic Texas toast. This is the thing I'm probably the most interested in because it's just bread, but like bread. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go from this. Ooh. That's nice. It's very nice. I like the texture on it. Like it's nice and soft. It has like a very light crispiness. So you bite into it and you just get this nice like, you know, crunch to it. But then on the inside, it's still nice and soft. That's really good. The garlic aspect is nice. It's not overpowering, but it's definitely very present. I mean, you think when you think bread, you think bread, right? In my head, it was kind of like, okay, is this basically just going to be like when you go to a barbecue place? Or just like, here's some toast to go over there and, you know, sop up all the fucking sauce and stuff and everything. You know, is it just going to be that, that equivalent? But no, like, honestly, this is a nice standout. I mean, garlic bread is just good anyway, and Texas toast is really good. Put the two things together and make sure you do it the right way. Honestly, that's a nice standout. Like, Raising Cane's, they don't have a lot in the way of options. They don't have a lot of sides. They, you know, it's pretty much just... But that's not a bad thing inherently. Like, you know, at the end of the day, as long as you're doing what you're doing well, and if you can go over there and jazz it up, I mean, the fries are fries. You know, they're okay. But this, this is something that makes you stand out a little bit. I like it. I'm a big fan of the toast. I definitely like it more than the fries. I didn't hate the fries, so. But, here's what we're really here for, folks. Because if you're raising cane chicken fingers, you had better bring the fucking chigger, chicken finger, <laughs> chicken finger business. It's almost a chigger. Which, a chigger is like a terrible little bug thing that, like, it lives in the grass. My dad always used to tell me, he's like, don't lay on the grass, you get chiggers. To this day, I don't know if chiggers are real or not. <laughs> like, if they're just one of those things my dad told me. Never run into one, as I know, but... Let's try a... Let's try a chicken finger. Ooh! Nice and hot. The guy at the, uh, guy at the window took my order and everything. Super cool, too. Like, Beg's mentioning. Really polite. One of the things he did mention, he's like, we made these, like, just super fresh and hot, so just be careful. I didn't exactly heed his warning, but I think I'll be okay. Um, that's a pretty damn good chicken finger. <laughs> meat is nice and tender and juicy the outside is nice and crispy it's good man and chicken fingers are one of those things that they tend to be sort of looked at kind of looked down upon a little bit you know they're often on the kids menu and stuff like nobody really thinks too much about them but the thing is, is like, pretty much everybody fucking loves chicken fingers and chicken tenders, right? I mean, you know, it's just chicken in a very convenient shape to eat, and then it's fried, and, you know, it's good. So, but the thing is, of course, if you're raising canes, 
famous for your chicken fingers. You got to bring the chicken fingers, like I said before. And to that end, I mean, yeah, these are some solid ass chicken fingers. You're getting a lot out of them. They don't feel like just a throwaway item, which, you know, again, you're putting your name on it. They better not be. They're tasty. I'll say this. If I'm comparing them against what are probably my most commonly eaten chicken strips, that being Popeye's, I think in terms of seasoning, Popeye's wins out. They've just, you know, they've got that Louisiana seasoning. I do think that just, in terms of straight flavor, I think they win. But I will say, I think that Raising Cane's, I think you definitely get more chicken per finger, you know. They're good, but we're not done yet. Raising Cane sauce. Because, again, if you're putting your name on it, this better be damn good. I'm a little bit sad I just ate that one without it, but for the sake of the review. Let's taste it see how it is. Ooh, very garlicky. Ooh. It's garlicky, it's zesty. Almost reminds me of like a, like an Italian salad dressing. Like if you took ranch sauce and just did like basically the Italian dressing version of that, that's what this reminds me of. It's good. But how does it pair with the chicken? Because that's the main thing we're here to find out. Let's dip it in. Chicken! Okay. 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 Because here's the thing, folks. You don't just want to have a tasty sauce with your chicken fingers. I mean, you do, typically. But you want a sauce that's going to work with the chicken fingers. It's not going to just completely override the experience. To that end, does the cane sauce work with the chicken fingers? And I can say, thankfully, yes. The chicken itself still tastes nice, but giving that little zest, giving it that garlicky edge, that kind of goes over there. It sort of makes up what I was makes up for what I was talking about earlier compared to like the Popeyes. It it just you know it gives it that little extra something, and it's kind of like with the with the fries with the ketchup. These are good chicken fingers, definitely way above the quality of most chicken fingers or chicken strips that I've had, especially in a more conventional setting, you know, fast food. But with the cane sauce, it really does just kind of bring it up, and you can see why you, they would go over there and pair those together. I mean, the sauce, I didn't have to ask for that, but that comes with the combo. So, I mean, overall, three-finger combo two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? I'm going to go with yes and yes. And I'll explain. I mean, overall, it's not doing anything super exciting or anything, but it doesn't have to. That's the thing with Raising Cane's. Like, again, they're not trying to go over there and, you know, throw a bunch of crazy shit at you. They're like, look, we make fucking chicken fingers. We do it damn well. And in that regard, they've definitely succeeded. But they also go over there and make it just unique enough to them to kind of make it worth the experience. You got the garlic Texas toast, which is really good. The fries, which are decent, you know, they're kind of there. But then obviously the chicken fingers with the cane sauce in particular, that definitely brings it up to a nice level. And like I said before, these are definitely better than the vast majority of chicken fingers and chicken strips that you're just going to get out in the world. Um... They're not my outright favorite. Again, I would still go to Popeye's, get some uh, sweet heat sauce. That would still probably be my, my preference. But these are a really good option. And if I'm recommending it as a meal, especially because I am reviewing it as a meal, again, I got this for 1075 
this is enough that it's going to hold even my fat ass over. So, like, there's a lot to be said for that. You are definitely getting a good deal in this particular box of solid food. Nothing here was bad. The worst case thing was just, again, you know, the fries were a little bit meh. But put some fucking ketchup on them and they're, they're a little bit higher than meh. The Texas toast for me is still probably the standout, if I'm being entirely honest. But those chicken fingers are damn good. And you can see why Raising Cane's puts their name on it. Like, they're really solid. So, anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Monument for the rest of the month. Dependence for the rest of your Folks, you go over there. Have yourselves a truly chicken finger-tastic rest of your life. Chicken fingers are good. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not as possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But... What you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit. And <sighs> Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, here's what I'd like you to do. I've mentioned this before in other reviews. If there's any, like, regional places to you or anything like that, you know, that you want me to check out, please, by all means, hit me up in the comments section. Let me know. Because not only can I go over there and, you know, just review the food, but, you know, hey, in an instance like this, I can review the deal and kind of, you know, give you my take on whether or not I personally feel it's worth the whole situation. And, you know, Raising Cane's is, you know, they're, they're around where I live, but they are a little bit more of an oddity compared to a lot of the other uh, major fast food places. So it's cool when I get to find out about this place. So anyway, I'm running a little bit long, so I'm going to get out of here. But uh, bye.